Hey guys, so welcome back to Exploring the North. Um, today we thought we'd do another local video. Um, just because it's a lovely evening, you can hear the birds are chirping. Um, and we thought we'd come to the Leeds Liverpool Canal again. Now we're at the Fall Ridge access point this time around. Uh, we can see there's the wharf uh, cafe slash pub over there. Well, it's not a pub, it's a cafe. Uh, serves food though. Um, and as you can see on the side there, the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Um, it's a big feature. So it's a great place to walk the dogs. It's lovely just to enjoy the scenery. As you can see, the fields are opening up over here. Um, it's free parking and some amazing canal boats to see. So we'll have a little walk along. We might see a heron, might see some nice nature and wildlife. So let's see what we find. This really is one of my favourite stretches of the Leeds Liverpool Canal, or well, the ones that I've been on anyway. I wonder if this is a little Airbnb, don't you? Lots of these like shepherd hut things popping up now, isn't there? Yeah, you can look it up if you want to. Two hoots. So we thought we saw a swan with some signets, but it turned out they were just my lord ducks. <laughs> but still a nice thing to come across. I don't know if you can see that hill up in the distance over there. I'll zoom in, um, but that actually gets covered in purple heather at the right time of year. Got the reeds with grasses over there. Lovely relaxing place to ride the bike as well. I always love looking at the reflections in the canals. Do you like that? So we've reached bridge 147 then. And there we see these amazing reflections again. This stretch, by the way, leads through to an area called Salterfirth. There used to be a pub called the Anchor Inn, but I think that's closed now. May reopen again. Um, but there's a park there for the kids to play as well. So if you wanted to walk there, play with the kids, have a, have, a, have a bit of fun with the kids and then come back and go to the cafe, you could do that. Nice view of the grey heron over there, look. I wonder if it's gonna fly off. And over there we have mandarin ducklings. We've got a little, the mother's over there. She's got some ducklings with her. We spot, I, spot, I posted a YouTube short um, with a closer up view. Let's see if they come over and swim over to us. They've come so close, haven't they? Yeah, I think we've got food. They're adorable. Aren't they just? Little mandarin ducklings, aren't they? I was gonna say. Oh, the mother's very different. Oh, thank you so much. The portrait's for you. I know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and this tunnel we see in front of us here, this is very um, famous really. It's actually the longest tunnel with what allows um, 
kayakers and canoers to go through in the whole of the country. Um, they opened it up at, at about 20 years ago, I think it was. Um, or it may be even less than that, maybe 10. But yeah, it's a mile long. It's a tunnel, obviously, under all the hills. Uh, I think it even goes under the reservoir. They used to have to use leggers to push the boats through, um, the canal boats, because obviously horses couldn't get through there. So they used to have men that pushed off the side of the walls with their legs to get the canal boats through. Uh, when one of them died, sadly, they replaced that um, with... Well, as you can see as well, there's a traffic light system on them, so you can only go through um, when the traffic lights are green, which is, I think is about 10 minutes in every hour. Um, but yeah, they replaced it with a tugboat system, like a steam-powered tugboat that then dragged uh, the canal boats through. But an amazing feat of uh, 18th century engineering. Um, and there's also a little story about this as well. Um, so apparently there was a cow, but it fell in at one side of the canal um, tunnel and it swam the whole mile through the tunnel to the other side, where it was then revived uh, by locals in a pub with brandy and whiskey and survived. Uh, so what an amazing story that is. Also, apparently, if you're perfectly lined up with the tunnel, you can see light out of the other side, a little beam of light. It is quite sunny, so I'm gonna try and get lined up. I don't think I'll be able to, but you can see a little beam of light. You can hear them. <laughs> inside the tunnel shouting can't you it must be a fun thing to do let's see i'll zoom in and we'll see if we can see light at the other side do you see anything i think i can actually not sure what these are i'm not really much of a fisherman what would they be going for the bread be perch possibly i don't know for some reason perch is springing to mind but i'm like i say i'm not a fisherman so i don't really know and if you do fancy some refreshments like we say we've got the wharf uh, cafe slash restaurant slash function room as well um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed our little trip out to Folridge today um, along the Leeds Liverpool Canal uh, if you have please give the video a like share it with your friends be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe um, but yeah let share it with your friends as well because that's the best way we can grow uh, thanks for watching the video and bye for now